what I ask of you is to do what's best for your people. Get them out of here and get them to safety. That is all uh, I can do. At this point, the uh, loudspeakers just shut off entirely as the power to them have been shut off. Damn it! <laughs> Veda? Is it really you? <laughs> I unplug Joe, my shit are you then. Really trying to play a good guy in 1540k? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna unplug Joe, my. Joe, I just want to say this now. Um, I can't wait till the shoe drops <laughs> because it is gonna be so epic when we reveal. So, anyway, yeah. At this point, Haley has been. <laughs> shut out. Uh, she could try rerouting power, but that would take more time, and by then, all the pilgrims will be down on the ground, and she'll be the only one off in the corner who will be looking suspicious. So if you want to yeah. get out of this once room, the power, Yeah, once, the, once she's realized the power is out, she's popping out her stuff, um, getting low, and then trying to sneak around the edges of the Arbites. Okay, so you've got your stealth gear, so give yep. me your concealment and move silent rules. <laughs> Final fate point? Probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't I get that earlier? <laughs> hey, there she Oh, no, just the wall. <laughs> All of a sudden, Haley just fades from view. <coughs> she turns invisible somehow. <laughs> she blinks out of existence and teleports wherever she wanted to go to. <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> it's like Desmond the Moon Bear. <laughs> but anyway, and your move silent roll? Oh, for Hey, don't worry about it. There's still a lot of noise going around as the cops are telling people to get down on the ground. Down on the ground. I hear somebody moving. I told everyone to stay on the ground. <laughs> so they are aware that somebody's moving around, but they don't see you. So they're just telling people. Yeah, at this to point, I need to get out of the hole. Too. So at, at this point, it's really up to Sorry, the Sorry, what was that? At this point, I need to get out of the hole. So. Oh, yeah, no, you can just go right to the door at this point and go out the door. Oh, yeah. I'm gone. All the guards aren't standing watching the door anymore, so yeah. I'm gone. Yep. And <coughs> as you're going down the hallway, you see basically the reinforcements for the Arbites showing up right now and marching into there as well. <sighs> so you got out just in the nick of time. Yep. Gallius, since while this is happening, you were having a meeting with uh, three rather surly, well, sorry, <laughs> one surly person, one polite person, and one, two quiet people. Well, can you really call Shelby a person? Which, I mean, uh, you are totally unaware of these going on, and you'll probably find out during or after dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Jeff. Well played. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, Shelby is now off and in about again. Oh, sec. What was that last one, Chris? Interesting. <laughs> no, sorry, he's just showing me some boobs. Not her own. Someone else's do it. Um, but yeah, so uh, Haley, any other things you want to do before we move on to uh, somebody else? I think at this point it's just going to basically be me laying low until it's time. Okay. Um, during your laying lowness, you will overhear about the auction and the uh, notable... Servers toss it, and the notable Zilla Zephra. Something in your mind just sort of clicks about. There's something about those two names. Something that those should be critically important to you for some reason. Something deep down inside you is telling you to find those two people. 
Will Haley listen to that deep down voice? <coughs> hmm. Sadly, that voice is also telling her when she finds that people, she should bake them some cupcakes. <laughs> well, the thing is, if I lay low, you know, uh, it'll I take care know. of itself. Joe? Mm hmm? Private message. <laughs> Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> okay, she's doing it. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, and so, uh, we, Kiri, did you uh, brainstorm anything else you'd like to do? Um, I think at some point she would have headed to the bar. As potentially hazardous as that is for her. Bars as in alcohol? Yes. Okay. Um, so give me uh, first a willpower roll. <coughs> Toughness. Was it toughness? Yep, I looked it up. Okay. Not that either one is better than the other. They're equally stocky. Once again, we're getting a lot of echo from you, though. Okay. I'll fix it in a Okay. Well, you're going to be kind of out of your element here, but uh, yeah, you, you've made your way to the bars. Uh, what are you doing at the <laughs> Um, she's going to keep her ear out for information. Okay, so, um, give me a perception roll. You've got, uh, awareness, so it's going to be a plus ten. About a boom. If it was one point lower, you would have had a full five degrees of success. But um, sitting around in the bar, you're hearing idle chit-chatting, rumors about who's sleeping with who, who's marrying who, um, you know, the sort of things nobles chit-chat about, uh, what kind of deals are being brokered, uh, which planets are going to war, uh, <clears throat> what sort of um, family is a degenerate, horrible, disgusting family, you know, like um, Siri's family. Um, does she hear anything about the mysterious person who broke into a room nation to Benin? That has about her? Yeah, that, that has, that we, we're doing this... Uh, oh, it's before? Bit. Yeah, this is okay. retcon for before since you missed our first session. So basically, um, this is when you'd probably first hear about the auction, servers okay. toss it, Great. and Villa Zephra. Although most of the talks about servers toss it, because servers toss it, toss it's a big name. That, that's a major noble family. Uh, Cerverus, he he was the adventuring son of uh, one of the big heads of the Tosset family, and. Uh, Servers toss it was even credited as finding a uh, new uh, moon that was previously undiscovered around a frontier world down in the um, was it the Deflowo subsector? Let me just double check that. Um, yeah, the Deflowo subsector, which is the, the frontier subsector where there's word of great big war going on with some Xeno race out there. So it's very dangerous, very exciting and uh, exotic. And uh, Cerverus, that, that, man, that man has adventures. He's uh, sexed in hail of the 40k universe. Although if you were to look at him, he looks more like um, what are the uh, old men in uh, Red vs. Blue? Uh, TF2? Uh, they're called like I think they're just called Red and Blue. Well, <laughs> Juicy Dill, I think that's like the last name. I don't know if they ever been given a first name. But yeah, he, he's actually quite old. Uh, he wears a wig, though you don't mention that in front of him. He gets very upset. Um, his, his father is long since dead. He had no heirs, so you know his line is pretty much dead with him. Uh, other than, you know, some distant relatives that are basically going to be taking over the Tosset name since he's been not exactly squandering his wealth on adventure because his adventures have been relatively profitable. Um, 
you know, he's been breaking even basically with his adventuring. Um, but it has made him more famous, which is a good thing for a noble. And, um, yeah, so he, he's got a good name around him. And Zilla, anytime she's mentioned, it's always in conjunction with Cerverus. Basically, she's a lesser noble, uh, basically serving Tosset's family. Uh, the Zephras, um, the word is that they're a pious group, very humble. They, uh, while they are noble in breeding, they don't exactly have the larger-than-life nobility bit to them. Although people will mention that Zilla is kind of a, a black sheep in her family for that reason, because she tends to be larger than life. You know, as much as someone can be larger than life while standing next to Cerberus Tosset. Okay. Okay. That would have been... Oh, That's the general rumors and whatnot. What you also hear about here and there is that the artifact is a fake auction. Cerverus is selling something else. Now, this is very much on the down low. Very few people are talking about it. They're talking about it in a very hushed tone. <coughs> There's actually a secret auction for something that the machine cult wants to get their hands on. And um, if you pay the right price and you know the right <laughs> people, you know, like uh, people like the Titus family, who are notorious for being shady types, those are the kind of people who would be uh, getting involved in this auction. It's, it's some kind of device. The machine cult wants it. And servers toss it is selling it using the artifact auction as a front. So at this point, at this point, why don't we just invite everybody in on this auction? Let's bring in the orcs. Let's bring in the dark elder. Let's bring in the chaos cultists. Let's bring everybody in. <laughs> now, I want to remind all the other players: none of you are to know this. I'm just saying that. Uh -huh. To get the story moving and everything. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. This, it seems like everybody wants a piece of this action. Everybody's coming in. Everybody from every branch of the Imperium is coming to take a part of this auction, <laughs> some form or way. What, Jess? What do you know? <laughs> That's exactly her point. She doesn't oh. know nothing. She doesn't know nothing. Okay, right. Der -der. Um So, Kiri, with this uh, knowledge, um, would that have changed any of your actions that we previously established will be done? Um, no, I think she still would have wanted in on the auction. Okay. Will she want in on the second auction? Possibly. But well, knows guess what? Type. She's going to get a personal invite as soon as she leaves the room where she signed up for the artifact auction because her name carries some weight in certain circles. And they assumed that the Titus family is interested. She in doesn't the use that name, though. Like, I she, don't wouldn't be able, she wouldn't be able to sign up for the auction with anything except her noble name. Oh. It's noble she couldn't zone. have used... She couldn't have used, like, her mentor's name who serves her family and is a lesser noble? Because <coughs> that's what she uses. Okay. Well, then, yeah, she wouldn't get the personal invite at that point, then. But, I was gonna then say again, she, she has been armed with the knowledge. She's even heard her own family's name mentioned in relation to the device that uh, they're, they're kind of People are hush hush. Like, I wonder when the Tituses are going to show up because I know they want it. Okay. Would she therefore have used her real name, or would she have used the pseudonym when she went up to sign for the auction? Knowing knowing this information, um, actually, I think she would use it because it would be to her advantage. Okay. And so, yes, she will actually have um, basically, in fact, um, roll a intelligence roll at plus 30. 